Hey, how's it going, everybody? It is JT here from the BitBlock, and we are going to be sitting back and talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons, specifically the Direct that just happened. And I can think of nobody better to join me on this grand journey of discussing the Direct than Mr. Rogers Bass himself. I am very happy that you warned me about the JT thing now, because now <laughs> when you intro this video and you called yourself JT, I'm like, what, 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 what what's going on here? Yeah, I had so, to explain yes. this to him. <laughs> yes, it's Animal Crossing time. There's a lot of stuff to discuss. Um, Josh, mm -hmm. this yes. looks amazing. This game yeah. looks incredible. <laughs> All capital letters, <laughs> underscore italics. This is Bold everything italics. I could have wanted. And the thing is, because I always see this in the comments, people are like, Roger and Josh haven't done discussions in a while. Well, you know what, Josh? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I like Pokemon and I like Fire Emblem. <laughs> and I know you don't like Pokemon and Fire Emblem, but now we're finally here. We got Animal Crossing. It's the day we've been waiting for. And truly, I feel like this is everything we could have possibly wanted. Wait, I watched your reaction earlier. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm so happy. We finally, so have, happy a we finally have a mutual love to discuss. Uh, yes. So we got right. some Regarding stuff. the Nintendo Switch, absolutely. It's so funny because people <laughs> people were leaving comments. I was seeing them like, are you, are you fighting with Roger? Do you not talk with Roger anymore? And, I wanted and you to were just like, no, I don't care about Fire Emblem. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know how to even begin talking about Fire Emblem. So, I know. I know. Uh, and now it's like a surplus. Now it's like Universal Studios and Animal Crossing. And so it's funny stuff to discuss. Yeah. We'll be doing Absolutely. a Super Nintendo World discussion very soon. No. Okay, <clears throat> so this, it's so funny because watching this Direct, I knew when I was watching it that there's just so much stuff. I'm going to like rewatch this Direct again and again and again throughout the night now. And I'm sure there's going to be so many things that I didn't even notice originally. Oh, yeah. Um, it's so funny because it's, it's like about a 27-minute Direct, but it's like there's just so many little details they didn't even point out that, you know, rewatching it, you notice them. It's like, oh, my God. Uh, so the coffee cups, bro, you can customize <laughs> your coffee cups. I can literally put my merch in the game. There you go. Because now I can put – because literally I sell coffee cups, mm -hmm. shirts, and pillows. Mm -hmm. And I can customize coffee cups, <laughs> shirts, and pillows. I'm going to make a merch room in my house. You're going to come visit. It's going to be glorious. <laughs> I can't wait, Josh. You will, yeah, you'll definitely be in the video journals. You'll be making a I can't – oh, my God, dude. I'm going to wait until you see my animal town. <laughs> I'm going to have, oh my can God. I, can I say I said one animal, thing? but I meant anime. anime you're going to see all this anime stuff. You're not going to know what's going on. You're going to see an Attack on Titan I area. I love I, anime. Listen, I'll get all the I references. Think, <laughs> I think you do. That's true. Oh, I can't wait. I do want to say one thing, though. If you can put a gosh dang pattern on a coffee mug and I can't put patterns on my shoes, I'm going to be a little shocked. And I kind of hope that there's no patterns on shoes just to spite See, you. This, you're, going on rip, you're going on Rip Ride Rocket at Universal now. <laughs> that's right. That's because you're going to make me go on Rip Ride yeah, Rocket. That's gonna, why. Later, he won't go on a roller coaster at Universal because he says he's going to pass out. He's going okay, now. But, if he's going to throw. Uh, no, okay. No, 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 no. To be fair, when we went, it was you, me, and Bill. When we went, I went on Rip Ride Rocket after I told you that it was going to be a problem and I knew I was going to pass out in this ride because I love roller coasters. I love them. I've always adored thrill rides and roller coasters, but I knew because of just the way the roller coaster is, it's not even that bad. It's not even like that turbulent, but it's just you're laying directly on your back and then it flips you. I'm like, I'm going to get sick and I'm going to pass out. And you two were like, no, it's going to be fine. And then sure enough, what happened? We went on it. I passed out. I woke up and then I passed right out again. Yep. So, so if you're going to keep trash talking, saying there's not going to be patterns on shoes in this game. You're definitely going on it again. All right. I'm going to vlog you passing out on that. Whatever. Um, so where do we begin? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can tell that we haven't done a discussion in a while. This is I just... know. It's been, a minute. it's been a minute. We have to get all this out. Um, okay. Oh, so man. where do we, I mean, like, where do we begin is sort of my first thought. Let's start with the music because we were talking about that before the discussion okay. started. The music is so good. Yeah. And again, I know you're a secret anime fan, so maybe you know what I'm talking about. But there's a series called Persona um, that has really amazing music, obviously Jokers and Smash Brothers. And the, the music tracks, like with the trumpets and the lo-fi jazz feeling for some of the stuff that you hear, like... Like later on during the direct i'm like man this is if animal crossing met persona i'm really digging this <laughs> i've noticed there's definitely some tropical flair to a lot of the music yeah, and, and, and i love yeah. that i really like that a lot yeah so yeah i wonder I, I mean i assume it's the same uh music composer as in the previous games yeah it's gotta be yeah i'm really not sure i don't think they've announced any of that publicly yet but right it, Seems like it has to Speaking be. Speaking of the compu uh, music composer, uh, we have not seen uh, K.K. Slider. Did they mention him in this? They did. So there's a really... I'm glad you brought this up. See, you and I have both watched this minimum three times already all the way through. Yeah. And yet there are still things that both of us did not pick up on, which is a good thing that we're doing this discussion because during the Amiibo portion where they're talking about um, certain Amiibo that you can't use in the game just yet, mm -hmm. they show someone trying to scan in a K.K. Amiibo. And then it says, sorry, you can't use this yet. 
Oh, okay. So huh. I think, I don't know if KK Slider is going to be like coming later on as a free update, but we have not seen him as of yet. And I think it's going to be tied to some type of amiibo functionality. I don't like that because it's like you have to pay for KK Slider in your game then. Well, I to be to be fair though, they clarify in the direct that it's DJ KK. So it okay. could be this thing where like KK Slider can come visit. Yeah, yeah. Because the, okay. the other thing we didn't see in this, um, like when they had the little visitors, like the classic characters where, oh, they come visit you and then there's a museum and a campground and stuff. Mm -hmm. The one we didn't see, we didn't see Brewster. And so I feel yeah. like Brewster and KK kind of go together. And so I just, I'm sure they didn't want to show everything in the direct. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. KK Slider and Brewster, I mean, the roost is a very iconic thing in Animal Crossing. I'd be shocked if you can't get a little coffee shop, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. That's, like, this whole direct, like I said, it has so much information. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. at the same time, I mean, there's, like, so many more questions that are unanswered. Yes. And yeah. honestly, I, I think I'm kind of okay with that. Before Me Before too. we went into this direct, I was like, man, it's crazy. We are a month away, and we still don't know a lot. Now, after the Direct, I feel like they gave us enough information to get us very excited. Um, and at the same time, there's a lot of stuff that we can discover on our own. Like, where is Bruce? Sure. What is KK Slider doing? Is Cap'n in the game? That kind of stuff. Let's just find it out by playing it, you know? So I think they did a good job of giving us the information we needed and not everything to where we go into this knowing everything that's going to go down. Totally. Also, so, yeah. I don't know if you noticed the grave. Um, but I'm sure that everyone's talking. talking about. Yeah, yeah, everyone's talking about the grave. Uh, what if that's Tortimer? Um, that's pretty uh, gruesome to kill off I Tortimer. <laughs> but I was, I, he's old. He's old. I, I don't want Tortimer to be dead, but I've been seeing people talking about who's inside that grave. And I feel like it might be Tortimer. Either that or Joan, because now we see this new character with snot dripping out her nose instead. So I don't, what's her name? Oh, uh, it's like Peggy Sue or something. Peggy May Sue or something. Or so Peggy yeah, May yeah, 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 something. yeah, 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 yeah. It's a fantastic name. When I saw that name, it I was like, oh, I'm like yeah, oh my it's god, a good that's, name. That's but I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's such a good name. We don't remember it. I'm, I'm sure I'll learn it very quick. Um, oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> but no, so yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I, I think the grave is just a grave. You you could get graves no. in the game before and put them in your house, like for the Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Halloween yeah so now they just put it outside to make it yeah, look I don't, like it. Yeah, yeah, I don't think Tortimer's name is on that grave. I don't think there's a picture of Tortimer on there <laughs> yeah, with like fair, a. I didn't actually think that was the case. But... <laughs> no, I know, but I think people, you know, people are just having fun and it's like, oh, that, oh, that's yeah, Tortimer. He's dead. <laughs> well, I mean, there have been some great memes too with like how Nook is now the one to make the morning announcements because normally it was like either villagers from your town who would do it or like Isabel would do it in New Leaf and so now like he's the one that starts off the game every time you log in mm -hmm. and people were doing memes where they like took out what was said in the text box and they made Nook like announce different things and <laughs> some of them were just really funny I know you steer clear of Twitter but like some of those memes were just hysterical this morning um yeah, oh, so, by the way, and again, there's no organization in this. This is just a conversation. Um, I <laughs> Yeah, we're... I, sorry, people, listen. I mean, we're going all over the place. We're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. roller coasters this, and music and graves and... This is just and, two yeah. friends hanging out chatting about an amazing Animal Crossing game. Because it's not, so good, no bro. It's just so good. Like, there's nothing even really to discuss here. I, I mean, there's tons of stuff to discuss. Okay, I keep it locked right here to the bit block, guys. We'll no, talk no, to you no, later. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not that there's nothing to discuss. What I mean by that is I feel like everything is just so exciting and refreshing feeling mm -hmm. that... You where just you can't begin. help but overflow with talking about stuff. Exactly. Like, where do you begin? Totally. So I was going to say one of the things that I really love is that Tom Nook is once again the, the center and the mascot of Animal Crossing in yes, New Leaf. Yes. It felt like Isabel was really who they were pushing. And I like Isabel. She's cute. She's fine. But like, come on. This is my man, Tom Nook. This is the I'm guy not... that gets stuff done. This is the guy. <laughs> this is why you have a house. This is why you have things in your house. This guy knows what he's doing. And so to see him just be really the, the front and center character is just really exciting to me. Oh, yeah. I love the I, lo I love the, the morning announcements. Like when you start playing, you get an announcement from Tom Nook about what's going down. It's so great. Like It is great. His, his character is like actually more evolved in this game than ever before. And I just think that's so fun. Which um, is funny because it was kind of teased that that would be the case during the very initial reveal of this after they showed Isabel. Where we all thought, oh, is this a Smash reveal or an Animal Crossing reveal? Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. Nook was already being kind of coy and funny during that initial trailer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, but he was still obviously in character as Tom Nook, but it did seem like there was going to be more of a focus on him. Mm -hmm. And he even said in that initial trailer, like, well, now that the villager and Isabel are busy in Smash Brothers, like, it's my main job to make the next Animal Crossing game a good experience. So yeah, he's, he's doing it. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. He is. <laughs> this looks, this legitimately looks like it could be the best Animal Crossing game of all time. Yeah, I mean, I personally thought New Leaf was before this. You know, I thought they did a great job in New Leaf. I always yep. have a, I have a fondness for the GameCube game still, but I don't think yep. it's better than New Leaf. But it does have no. its own thing going on that's very charming. Yeah, uh, yep. and I'll always play that for years to come. But uh, this game, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's got 
the potential to definitely outdo New Leaf. Uh, with the, uh, for, for God's sakes, you can literally design your island. Like, so I was and, just gonna bring that up because I feel like that is the most revolutionary thing about in the direct this. for sure. Yeah. Dude, waterscaping and terraforming? Like, mm -hmm. I never in a million years thought that would have been the case, especially because they showed in the beginning of the direct the four different, like, island patterns or whatever that you can choose. And so I thought, oh, okay, well, you get to, like, sort of choose which island best suits you. But then you find out later on, oh, no, as you unlock different shovels. Like, they showed the sil – I think it's the silver one is waterscaping and the golden one is – uh, like cliff terraforming or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then like as you upgrade your shovel, you'll be able to get these permits to then terraform your island and like change where the rivers run and put in waterfalls and take down cliffs. I mean, it's it's truly unbelievable. I, it seems kind of weird to say this. It feels almost like they're taking um, a page from Minecraft with yeah. this. I mean, I yeah. think that it definitely seems like that. Uh, yeah. So, you know, maybe it's not the most original idea to do something like this because Minecraft did it. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, but they're doing it in Animal Crossing, so it has this whole new flavor yeah. and dynamic to it. Um, and let's be real, neither of us play Minecraft. No, so <laughs> I've been I've been forced to play Minecraft a few times, but that was about it. I don't really have yeah. much of an opinion on it. Seems fine. I don't hate it. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Um, but uh, what I was going to say is, so in the past, obviously, you know, you'd you'd look at your map, and a lot of people would reset their map trying to get the one they liked the best. And in New Leaf, you could kind of pick between a few of them. Um, but this is like. I just remember playing the GameCube game where there would be certain little landmarks that you could get in your town. Like, oh, there's mm. like a little island and two bridges going to it. That's really fun. And, oh, I like having a three-layer town, all that. This is like, it doesn't really matter because now you have full control over those cute little things. Like, in City, yes. Folk, in City Folk behind my house, I had this little narrow area between the, the edge of the wall. And I called it like my hidey hole where I would like store, <laughs> I'd store my little secret things and I'd plant You could make your own little hidey I hole, I can make Josh, the most like... ultimate hidey hole! <laughs> <laughs> well, even uh, on the topic of, you know, choosing exactly where everything goes to where they showed that now, like the one thing that always annoyed me in all the other Animal Crossing games is you make your town all nice and then suddenly some new villager moves in that you probably don't even care about half the time and they move over all this beautiful work that you've done to your town. And now you get to choose where the villagers move. You should like choose the plot of land and it says, oh, this land has been sold and that's where the villagers are going to move in. And I'm so happy about that. When yeah, they showed I mean, that off, I was thrilled. I remember playing through New Leaf. Obviously, I did like, I think, 150 video journals for that. And I just oh, yeah. remember, you know, you spend so much time. I had like a little cafe area and I had my walkway perfect and the trees were planted and everything. And just the aesthetic was perfect. And then some stupid animal moved in right next to the cafe, destroyed trees, destroyed flowers, destroyed my pathway. And it's just like, man, that, that actually really does take a lot of the ambition to play the game out of you, I think. It does. It does. It's like you're terrified that your hard work is going to get destroyed someday. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, now that's not a thing anymore. And, you know, it's so great. I'm very excited by that. Um, and it makes sense, too, because, like, you know, on the one hand, I'm a firm believer that you can't give the player too much power in Animal Crossing. You can't make sure. things too easy. You need to sure, have sure. the ups and the downs. Um, but I think that this is definitely a change uh, for the better, you know. De another change for the better, while I'm thinking of it, too, is those achievements for, mm -hmm. like, doing your daily tasks. Mm -hmm. We're not, obviously, you're still going to get money from picking fruit or selling fish or whatever. But now it's like you get additional miles for completing all these achievements with your little punch card. And then you can convert that into bells or items or whatever. And it just gives you an incentive to do your daily chores. Like for me and you, I feel like we're big Animal Crossing fans, so we do them anyway. Mm -hmm. But I think for like a casual audience that maybe has gotten into Animal Crossing in the past, but wasn't incentivized beyond like that first week of playing, I really do think this is gonna keep people coming back. So I thought that was a really smart addition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think just even for us, you know, these like veteran Animal Crossing players who've been playing since like the GameCube, I think yeah. it's just exciting to have this list of like you know for lack of a better term like challenges to do every day and yeah. work towards it just makes animal crossing feel like more of a fulfilling game experience as a whole and so i think yeah that's just like a huge huge plus yeah and um, oh my god the visuals by the way too the uh, game looks it, so pretty oh my god yes the just the the sense of atmosphere from the visuals the lighting and the shadows and the weather effects it just looks so good the museum. Oh, the museum. Holy lord. Oh, holy <laughs> mother of goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this, oh my god, the museum. 
needed an upgrade. I feel like the museum has pretty much been the same for such a long time now. And just the way the aquarium looks with the school of fish in the background, the the like the fossil area. I, I don't know if you noticed this, but like even when you put fossils outside, if you're displaying them like outside of the museum within your town, mm -hmm. these little lights show up underneath the fossils in addition <laughs> to the actual fossil mm -hmm. to sort of like illuminate it. So even at night, you'll have like this cool illuminated fossil. Oh, I love, you know, I'm going to have a giant woolly mammoth fossil right in front when you enter <laughs> for the mammoth voice. voice. I need, oh, I, I need to have it. I need to. There's going to be woolly mammoths all over the place. People are going to walk into my town like, what the hell's up with this? What's going on here? Did you know yeah. there's, a, there's a woolly mammoth villager? What? Yeah, I, I think I have, when you come to visit, I'm going to give you the card. I'll give you the there's a, card. Oh my God. Yeah, yes, so please. You can have him in your town. Yeah, he's a There's woolly a woolly mammoth. mammoth villager? Yeah, he appeared in uh, New Leaf. Oh my God. So the one thing, I'm actually glad you brought that up, even though I'm freaking out about this Willie Mammoth Villager, <laughs> is the Amiibo cards coming back. Because uh, a little birdie told me, and that little birdie is me watching your reaction this morning, uh, is saw that Josh said that it's cheating it to use Amiibo cards to get your favorite villagers. I am, I'm with the mindset that it's cheating if you do it for all your villagers. But okay. if there's like one or two in particular, like for you would be ketchup, I'm assuming. You love ketchup, ketchup the, the duck. duck. So like, That's my girl. If there's one specific villager that you really, really want in the game, and you just don't have to go through the castle of like trying to find them to get near your island. Now it's like, okay, for me, it's Clay the Hamster. So for me, it's like I've been waiting. I have that Clay the Hamster amiibo card. When I log in day one, I'm scanning in Clay the Hamster. He needs to be my first villager. He's never leaving. He's my best friend. Okay. And then now it'll be, I guess, the Woolly Mammoth guy as well. But yeah, I think you're going to like him. I, I wanted to say that I don't necessarily think it's cheating if you only do it one or two. But okay, I agree. So with I, you. I agree with that. Then, so we're on the same yes. page. I agree. If, if there's like totally. one or two, there's like one or two yes. that you just you love those characters, and you, you know the chances of you getting them are pretty low to begin with because there's hundreds yes. of characters. So I, I'm I'm okay with one or two. Yeah. But, but if, if you, you do, do it for your, your whole selection, town, yeah. you're cheating. Then like, I'd my girlfriend really badly wants to choose the cute villagers beforehand and, like, get all the amiibo <laughs> cards. And this is Reagan's first time playing through it. And I told her, I'm like, don't, you can't do this. I refuse. Uh, I'm not going to get you the amiibo Reagan. cards. <laughs> Reagan, you need to have the ugly villagers to appreciate the exactly. cute ones more. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and that's half of the fun of it. Um, yeah, you see, I, that's, I love having some ugly villagers because then it's like I can just rage. I can hit them with the shovel or the, or the axe. <laughs> Speaking of which, I noticed in this footage you can actually display your tools now. So they like have just the yes. shovel outside on display. Yes, uh, and cool. the, that magic wand to change your outfits too. Oh, a little magic wand for style. Oh, JT oh the magic wand is so good, Josh. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, um, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, what I was going to say is you want to talk a little bit about Nintendo for the first time since they created it actually making a good use of their online app for smartphones? Yes, I, I, to be honest, I've never used, and you guys know this, like I love Nintendo, like to a fault. I loved a lot of Nintendo games that a lot of people did not like, uh, but I've never once used the Switch Online app yeah. ever. Yeah. In my entire time, having Switch Online and playing on Switch, I've never used it. Um, not to check up for screenshots in Smash Brothers, not to check up on Splatoon for whatever it does in Splatoon, not once. <laughs> Uh, I will absolutely be using it now yeah. for Animal Crossing because I love that you can send messages through it, but you could also voice chat through it, mm -hmm. which like if you or I are going to do it, like we'd just make a Skype call or a Discord call or whatever, yeah. like it's yeah. not going to matter. But mm -hmm. I do feel like with with um, like fans, if you're like streaming and you don't necessarily want to say, oh, you know, I'm going to add you on Skype or Discord. It's a really good way of being like, oh, yeah, well, we could just like talk. Mm -hmm. over this without using we speak you know the horrible <laughs> dark days that we speak with city folk um and and i do like yeah the messaging service and i love i love 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 that you could bring over you qr codes from new leaf and happy so home designer that's what i wanted to talk so about yeah um one of yeah. my things was i started thinking about this because I, I didn't realize this at first and then i think a few people in comments were, were talking about this where you know in new leaf you make the qr code for your patterns right. and that was great because there were so many communities online that were making really cool you know sweatshirts and t-shirts and they're making pathways oh, yeah. and they'd share their qr code and it was like oh this is great uh and then i was like oh shoot how you can you can't do that on the right. switch right and then right so nintendo came up with this brilliant way of doing that by using the smartphone to you know just i never would i never would have thought of that i never would have thought oh you just use like a smartphone app to scan this so that is so good yeah and, and then, it makes way more sense too like yeah you said. and it's compatible yeah. with the previous ones from new leaf yeah that is yep. great i have a lot of patterns i made in new leaf that i guess i don't have to do now again i can just bring them yeah. over so that is same, really same nice. here i have a lot of patterns that i made new leaf but in addition to that like there's a really cool template where you can um you can like upload basically a picture like if it's a yeah, realistic yeah, yeah, thing yeah. that would take a lot of time 
you can upload a picture and it'll do its like best job to interpret what that pattern would mm -hmm. be like and it gives you a QR code and those are compatible with New Leap so I'm assuming they'll be compatible with this too yeah um, which is great because mm -hmm. then like if I'm making an anime themed town or something or like a Metroid thing and I want to put the Metroid map in there but I don't actually want to go pixel by pixel to make the full map I can do it so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah really great I think even just so like um I've played a decent amount of the GameCube game like in the last year, and one of the things that I, I think is not great <laughs> is that to type something, you just slowly type, you know, you gotta move the analog oh, stick, yeah. hit A, yeah. the analog stick, A. Uh, but now using the smartphone app, if, even if you don't feel like verbally chatting to your friends, you just use your phone to type, and, and then a little yeah. bubble appears above your character, and everybody is used to typing on their phone, you know, like with texting. Totally. So that totally. keyboard, the keyboard in the app is gonna be very useful, I think. Uh, oh yeah. As opposed to slowly moving an analog stick and typing. I guess if yeah, you were playing I, handheld, sorry, you could. I agree with you too, because I think part of the charm in playing online with Animal Crossing is like sending little messages and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like if you go back and watch the dream diary you did of like visiting my village years ago, um, if you go back and watch that, like I was sending like funny little memes and stuff to you and like little messages and things. And I think so much of the fun of that is literally like not being able to hear the other person and communicating through these little messages. Yeah, I mean, there's a certain appeal um, to that too. Yeah, like there is just, totally just yeah. the little text messages that pop up. Yeah. Maybe you're doing something else. Maybe your house yeah. is noisy or whatever. And so, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really actually going to download that smartphone app and use it, which is something I never thought I would be saying about a Nintendo yeah. online experience. There you go. So, and now you have to have Nintendo Switch online as well. Well, I have a secret. Are you ready for, ready oh, for a big You confession? little stinker! Listen you to this! Get, it gets worse you're than you think! Liar, bro. You it gets lie. worse than you think, oh, Rogers, you're not babe. good, JT. JT's Listen. a liar! <laughs> no, <laughs> technically, Joshy did this. JT is... Oh, oh God, okay. I just have to. <laughs> so, you know how I'm always like, man, that's a ripoff. That Nintendo Switch Online, that's a ripoff. That sucks. Yeah. I've been paying for it monthly. It charges every month out of my account, and I'm too lazy to just be like, I'm just gonna pay for the full year. So I've probably spent like $70 on Nintendo Switch You've Online. easily spent triple on Nintendo <laughs> Switch Online yeah. than what you needed to spend. Just get like a year long subscription, man. It's I great. Know, I'm too lazy to Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta adjust that before Animal Crossing that comes Nintendo out. That Nintendo Switch Online is such a ripoff. Okay, here's five dollars a month, Nintendo. <laughs> exactly. You're the one giving it. I actually do really like. This is off topic, but also kind of on topic because I actually do like the NES and Super Nintendo thing now. I've, I found yeah. myself using that more and more recently. Because at first I was kind of upset about not having a virtual console. I think we've even had a discussion about this, like on my channel, about a virtual console on the Switch. But now I like. I'm kind of not. As upset about it like i still want virtual console for gamecube and things but yeah, 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 with yeah. nes and super nintendo it's like we've rebought those games so many times that i'd much rather just be like whatever like throw them on the yeah i mean that's it. i don't have to worry about it that's the thing yeah i mean to be honest with you and uh, maybe you know i'll get some crap for this but I, I really don't care about nes games anymore that much so i wouldn't no, buy them yeah like but yeah. if you just put them on an app on my switch and i'm whatever bored or doing something out and about like i'm at an airport i i will probably jump into the app and play some sure of those then really it's quickly. fun same with sure. like Super Nintendo games, but like to get me to spend eight dollars on a Super Nintendo game these days, good luck. I, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Um, but as far as like N sixty four and GameCube, yeah, that's gotta happen. Yeah, that like, should. Yeah, Mario Sunshine, Mario Sunshine Deluxe remastered for the Switch. Yeah, I, I'd be okay with that. You want to? I still wait? need Netflix, honestly. I yeah. we still need Netflix. That's. Yeah. But, um, so Animal Crossing, though. <laughs> well, that is, that is on topic, though, because Animal Crossing used to it have is. NES games. So there it you is. Go. It's, yes, it's on topic. <laughs> yeah, that's um, true. Okay, we, we have to talk about the, uh, uh, what should we talk about? The pattern making? We kind of covered that a little bit with- Covered that. Did you look at that at all? Have you, there's, so there's a, if you freeze the trailer at about 15 minutes and 55 sec or 56 seconds, I don't, I don't know if you have it open. I will they pull show, it up right now. They show the pro design. Yeah, pull this up because I want your opinion yeah, yeah. on this. Yeah. Uh, so it's 15 minutes, 56 seconds. There, there's a guy, he's looking at his pro designs of the patterns. And it shows you the patterns in a very unique way. Like it literally shows you the front and the back of like a shirt or a tank top. And then it shows you what the sleeve design is. But there are a few of them on here that I can't totally understand what they are for. One of them looks like it is for a hat. And another one looks like it is for maybe a, like a, a beanie or something. Like it looks okay, like- Okay, I'm looking at it hat. right now. So 15, the bottom right- Okay, there's, 15, I'm seeing the DS one. 1556, you said? Yeah, 1556. Display QR code. Okay, oh, yeah, what is okay, this? Okay, so you can see So there's, see like, that. tank top? Yeah, and it shows you... So, like, what... At the bottom right, two are the ones that I'm looking at. So one of them looks like it has little flowers around it. Like, and then it's oh, got a yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. is that? Is that... What could that possibly be? Well, okay, so I'm looking at pro designs, and I know, like, when they made the pro designs in New Leaf, mm -hmm. it was just, like, your shirt and your sleeves, but now it looks like your pants, too. 
so Which it looks one like, looks like with your tank to you? top. Yeah, it looks like pants. Uh, the one I want to say the one next to the blue skirt is like a classic Animal Crossing hat. Like you know the hats you had in the original game. I think it is a hat because yeah, yeah. I've done a lot of I've like I've done a lot of three D modeling and texture work on the three D models. Yeah. And so looking at that, you, if you look to the right, the like piece of it to the right that's more slim. Yeah. That is probably going to be the side of the hat. And the reason it's slimmer is because it gets stretched. Right. Around the side of it. So it's like yeah. if you want to make it a baseball cap, then you can have like the little yeah. um, the snapback or whatever on mm -hmm. the back of that. And that's where you would design that. Yeah, that's right. what I was thinking, too. So we clearly I think this kind of confirms that you can customize hats in a that's way that be you could so before. sick, man. I'm going to have my merchandise again. <laughs> Listen, oh. this leads me to think there is hope for shoes, though. If they made the trouble of making new pattern shapes for the hat and that, then, like, I feel like shoes could be in there. I want What it. if, oh, wait a minute, Josh. Wait a minute. Okay. What if shoes are the circle and the rectangle? So, the... Yeah, so that could, well, wait, wait which one? The, the red, white, and blue kind of thing going on? No, 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 no. So... The, the red, white, and blue thing is definitely the hat. Because the brim yeah, of the hat's yeah, yeah, right there. Looks like the but if you look to the... You're going to have to totally edit this in, by the way, because people are going to be like, what are they talking about? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it, to the right of the hat, there's like the circle and then the little rectangle thing. I was thinking maybe the rectangle thing is like where your laces go, and then the circle is like where the actual shoe is. It could, yeah, it could be. It could, I mean... That's and the one. The so that's the one stretched. I don't get. Like, I don't know what that one could be. Because like somebody was like, oh, that's like a pom-pom hat. But I don't think it is. I don't think it's a pom pom hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that could be because I, I, I don't know what shoes, it would be. Yeah. I think it could be shoes. Yeah. Oh man. I hope it is. I hope it is shoes. Also, can we talk about the awesome hairstyles that they've added now? Like, there's so I'll many. Yeah. The cool character here. Like, I love his hair. I love all the, the different <laughs> hairstyles for the boys and the girls and everything. It's like they really diversified it, and it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I think it just looks freaking rad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited. There, I, He's you know, got I cool think... fade on the side. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, like I think it. with so with Animal Crossing, it's definitely one of those games where you want to feel like you are like in you. The, like it's totally. you totally. And totally. so having the more options of like a variety of skin tones, a variety of, yeah. of hairstyles, I, I know anybody can wear whatever they want. But I think it's just yeah, sure. so great because now it's like, oh yeah, you can be represented. It's actually you yeah. totally. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> as as you know, I'm about as less left wing as you can get. But my God, <laughs> Animal Crossing should have darker color tones in their skin because it's of course it's yeah. crazy that new leaf didn't have that but yeah so it's really great i like that it's just such a, a good welcoming game to everyone it looks great yeah um, yeah so yeah uh, uh what else is that i mean i'm skimming through this trailer here uh oh i love so one of the things in new leaf and i'm sure you might be able to relate to this when you mm -hmm. were gonna build something outside you know you went to isabel and she followed you around and you, you talked to her when you got to the point where you wanted it to go yeah and it was always this thing where it never dropped where I thought it would. So you were always kind of, it was almost like you were trying to do this blind. Like you'd be like, oh, no, oh, no, I don't yeah, want it yeah, there. Yeah. I want it here. And it's like, oh, it went over there. Why did it go over there? No, 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 over here. Um, this literally shows you a little grid that will tell you exactly where this thing is going now when you're about to put something down yep. outside. That is such an improvement. And also, I have noticed, and I'm very excited about this. This was something they haven't done since the GameCube days. You can place things up against other things you don't yes. need to have space in between them so i saw that yeah, yeah like you can put it you can put something literally right on the edge of the river whereas before you would have not been able to do that they needed you to be able to walk around it now that's not the case and that's kind of the way it was in the gamecube where trees could grow right up against things and i always missed that i always felt like it made the game feel a little bit too robotic a little bit too eh. so i and and so it's great i love that you can do this now. yeah and I'm gonna make an assumption as to why they allow it this time. I, I think, think it's I know because you're you can go. change the terraforming. Yeah. I think because now literally anything could become water or become like land, mm -hmm. and so it wouldn't make sense to then block certain areas off or like you can't put it close enough to shore if you can terraform now. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably why they brought it back. And I'm right there with you. I'm really happy they did. Oh my god, I have it paused now because we were looking at the um, clothes and stuff, and I just let it play, and I saw this glowing seashell lamp that's outside. Yeah. Like, oh, it's so good. Good. Uh, I need the, look at the fondue. Oh my, there's a fondue pot that's on this little picnic table outside. 
all of the furniture like i love th- that they've redesigned the classic furniture sets too like you can clearly see uh the cabin furniture at one point like if you're going through the trailer mm-hmm. and you can see the zen furniture and it's like it's just all been given an upgrade yeah it's like it, this is what we've needed for such a long time even like very standard things like the um the elephant slide that's been in there since the original game mm-hmm. you can see the elephant slide at like 2137 and it's clearly been given an upgrade there's like a border around the side of it now and the ears sort of sticking out oh yeah and the eye is sticking out a little bit as well it's like everything now detailed the apple furniture is back but it just oh i love it i mean it, I it, it's it. so funny to me because that that's a lot of work to do like they yes. could have they could have totally gotten away with just taking the items they made for for new leaf and just putting them in this engine and they still would have looked good like they would have i think fine. i think nintendo probably was like look we watched josh's make-believe and we don't <laughs> want to let be, this we don't be shown up by this guy <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I mean, literally everything in this game is built from oh. scratch for this game. And I'm so appreciative for that because, like I said, they, they could have easily just been like, no, nah, we can just take these items and put them in. They're going to look great. They redid everything, and that is so much better, and it just looks so great. Um, the inventory, too, like being able to just put things in storage from wherever now. Like, I know mm-hmm. they added that with the Welcome Amiibo thing, but, I mean, it's it's a huge plus to see that, okay, that actually did come back. And, like, seeing the inventory management and, again, having it where, like, the magic wand changes your outfits. And ah, it's just... They've streamlined the things they needed to streamline, and the things that they could have streamlined, I feel like they didn't in, like, the best possible way, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I mean, so, so that's the thing, too, because I, um, I feel like I'm kind of against the idea of streamlining things sometimes because it tends right. to dumb them down and sort of suck the soul out of the experience a bit. Um, so, yeah, I agree. They, the things they streamlined are like, yeah, yeah, that, that should have been done. And then the things yeah. they didn't is, like, really good, so. Yeah, because obviously, like, the things that you actually work towards now are like your furniture because you need the things to actually craft your own furniture unless you're buying that furniture. And so again, it, it feels like, okay, you're doing this extra work building a piece of furniture that's going to be in your house, but that's something you're going to personalize anyway. Whereas like this other stuff, like whether it's decorating or setting up your town, it was always kind of like needlessly complicated in certain ways. And I feel like all the ways it was needlessly complicated, they just like got rid of, mm-hmm. which is great. Well, I mean like having to go to the town hall, talk to Isabel, tell her you want to build something, right. select what you want right. to build go outside tell her we want to get i mean like there was like about 10 steps there now it's, it seems to literally just be craft it and drop it uh that's it yeah yeah so that's it's, it. it's really really great um so uh do you want to talk a little bit about some of the new special characters that we'll visit during like little events like the spring fishing tournament and you can get a, yes. a visit from flick flick is the new version of nat flick looks pretty you told me you really liked flick earlier when uh when it i do really out. like flick, flick so it fan. was because i didn't see the i didn't see the actual color scheme i just saw the silhouette mm-hmm. and right away i'm like okay i like this guy i don't know what his deal is <laughs> and then i saw him here and i'm like yep i like him <laughs> he's like this punk rock chameleon kid i don't know man i i, I dig him <laughs> i okay so her name is daisy may and oh, Daisy May's the, the new Baby Joan? Yeah, a little bit. A little Muppet okay. Baby Joan. Daisy May. <laughs> Sounds like a character out of Mama's house, bro. That's what I'm <laughs> Daisy um, May. It's so funny because when we were we saw Daisy May and it was this artwork that was so unbelievably tiny. And I was like, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's got that little traditional Japanese snot booger hanging yeah. out of her nose. And people were like, no, no, no. She's a boar. She's got tusks or whatever. Well, a boar is an old version of it. What would she be? No, a sow is an old. I don't know. I don't know my pigs very well. Um <laughs> <laughs> but, but people were calling me out on that. They're like, she's not a boar. She's a little baby. Boars are old things. I'm like, I don't know. Just but, say baby boar. You're ba- fine. Baby yeah. boar. Um, but I love that she's got, and I was like, well, no, she's a baby. She wouldn't have tusks. That's, that's when you get to be an adult. So it is a little snot. No, it's like Wind Waker going on here with the little kid. Yeah. Uh, so I love that. And then she's got it like tied to her head with the turn. It's so great. That's adorable. Yeah, it's I great. love it. Um, All the new character designs, I feel like are really good. Yeah. It's, it's funny because it's like, okay, here's a question I'd pose to you, Roger. So um, Nat and Joan and Chip are characters that used to be in the series, and now obviously we've we've got Muppet Baby versions of them. <laughs> <laughs> they make our dreams come true. They do. Uh, do. Are you okay with that, or do you still want Completely. them? Do you want? The, do you think they'll appear in some other way, like as a little like surprise? Or I mean, are they'll they probably gone? have like an Easter egg. I think they'll probably be like an Easter egg surprise or something at some point with some update. But I mean, I don't mind that they're gone because it's a new game. You need to switch yeah. out some of the characters every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Like the big one for me that I really miss is Cyrus and Reese is because now you craft everything yourself and you go to Nook's tool bench and like you, you don't have Cyrus and Reese anymore to customize your furniture. And so I really do hope that Cyrus and Reese at some point pop up. And I feel like they probably will. I think all of those characters will 
sort of in the same vein that DJ KK uh, was brought up during that Amiibo thing where they're like, oh, he can't show up just yet. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to do like cute little photo shoot things or something with them at that little theater that they showed off. Yeah, it's, it'll be interesting to see if they just say, well, you know, uh, you know, Cyrus and Reese were in New Leaf, but now we changed up the game and we don't really have a purpose for them anymore because the thing they used to do, you do differently. Uh, hey, remember and those so Cyrus and Reese amiibos that you got specifically because they were bundled with the KK amiibo? Okay. Yeah, you could definitely throw those out because you don't need them anymore. <laughs> well, listen, I bought an abundance of Animal Crossing amiibo like th two years ago because well, they were a dollar. Cheap. You can go to five below, yeah, and yeah, you can get they, them for like they, a dollar or Target something. Target had them for a dollar each and I was like, all yeah. right, I guess I should get the whole collection. Yeah, um, totally. Uh, did you notice that if you wanted to get up, like, so you're playing this game and you want to mm. go up to the next layer, usually you'd have to walk all the way around, but there is a new tool that is an expandable ladder. You just put yes, it up against the that. wall and then you walk up it really quick. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's super cute. It's Death Stranding in Animal Crossing, man. It's great because <laughs> you have a little extendable ladder coming out of your backpack. <laughs> um, and you've got the babies. You've got baby CJ or whatever and Daisy <laughs> May. <is. laughs> I didn't even notice babies that ladder. Ladders. I didn't notice the ladder at first because I was too distracted by that ugly pink gorilla that was dancing. Well, I like the pink gorilla. I actually think she's kind of cute. Um, the the one thing I was going to say, though, about the ladder is I think we actually already saw that in a previous trailer, didn't we? Uh, no, that's new. We, we didn't see really? that before. Yeah, that's totally new. I could have sworn that I watched like one of your 50 fact Animal Crossing things and you brought up a, a ladder. No, that's totally new. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, well, there you <laughs> go. All right. Um, so, I mean, you know, we could talk about this for like uh, five hours, but is there yeah. anything else we should really talk about here? Is there anything to really cover? I, I think the phone is really cool. It's kind of you. So it's funny because usually I'm against that kind of thing. Like usually I'd be like, oh, there's a smartphone. They modernize this. But I'm oh, not, no, I don't I feel that cute. way. I think it works. And it's so yeah. handy to have that as like your little inventory to uh, use a bunch of stuff. And so, yeah, I think it works. You, you and there can was also a phone in Pocket Camp too. So, I mean, like that's just going along with what with already what happened Pocket in Pocket Camp too. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I do like that you can get different phone cases. That's pretty cute. Yes, that wonder, is cute. I wonder where you get those. I wonder if maybe you earn them from your Nook Miles or if they're in a shop somewhere. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. I hate to bust your dreams open, but I actually think I figured out what the rectangle is. The rectangle might be phone cases. You know the custom thing we were talking about? But the why is there banner? a circle, though? Ma well, maybe the circle is the shoe. Like, it's the full actual shoe that you design, and that the rectangle is your phone case. But the rectangle is clearly within the same context of that. Like, those two pieces are the same pattern, I think. They, they belong oh. to each other. Well, then maybe, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I may, well, with, in regards to a phone case, though, that's just, a re that's just like a square or rectangle. You could probably just put any pattern on that. I don't know if you need mm -hmm. a pro design for that. I mean, also, I'll be... This is Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, I'll be the, fir the first thing I do when I get this game is I'm going to see if I can put patterns on my shoes. So yeah, in absolutely. a month, I'll figure it out. You'll find out soon enough. No, I was going to say, this is totally random. But again, we're you know watching the trailer, looking over all this stuff. At 2201 in the direct, do you have it open right now? I do. Okay, 2201, there is a villager sleeping next to an apple tree. Uh -huh. And he looks like a Julius Caesar bear wearing a toga. Oh, I love him and I need him in my town. I've never seen him before. Oh, yeah, he's in, uh, he's in New Leaf. Yeah, I love him. I need him. <laughs> yeah, he's got the he's got the little sandals on and everything. Yeah, he's super cute. <laughs> also, notice uh, who's the the little monkey character back there with yeah. the broom. Yeah, I, I don't remember her name, but I've okay. seen her. Uh, what is up with the brooms? So, I mean, that's something we should definitely kind of talk about yeah. here. Yeah, there are a lot more idle and NPC animations going on with the characters. Um, yes. That broom is just an uh, like just an animation of them just sweeping up the path or sweeping the ground. Smelling the flowers is yeah, another one. Yeah, there's another one in sleeping. I think that's there's a lot of stuff going on here as far as the yeah. animals. And that about okay, so that is something that I think really is a great area to keep improving on because we're supposed mm -hmm. to enjoy interacting with these characters. We're supposed to feel like they really do live on this island with us. And, you know, in the past, Animal Crossing, they always did a great job, but as time went on and you look back at it, they started to feel a little robotic. You know, yeah, they'll just be yeah. standing, they'll stand right in front of a wall and just stare at the wall for like five seconds. And it's like, that, that, that wouldn't happen normally. <laughs> That's not how things interact. So to see all these new little animations, I think it just makes the island feel more alive. It makes the characters have sometimes more. They'll, I was going to say sometimes they walk into your hidey hole and they get stuck there. <laughs> then, listen, then nobody <laughs> leaves my hidey hole. <laughs> you come in, you're not going out. <laughs> 
This needs to be a meme in my journals. The hidey it should hole be. You should actually put in your town. You should make like this little custom hidey hole and then put like a sign up that says, <laughs> oh, welcome to Chate D's hidey hole or something. And you walk in it. Oh, Roger, if funny. you're good, I'll invite you to my hidey hole. <laughs> oh, if you're bad, i I'm, I'm seriously so excited to design towns. Like, I think there's so much potential here. Mm -hmm. And oh, I'm just looking at this. It just looks so I'm so, I'm so happy with this because... It's such a it's a series that's so near and dear to me. And before we really learned about it, and before we had seen it at like E3 last year, I did have this like terrible thought of like, oh god, what if they mess up Animal Crossing? That's all we I have left. Actually, we <laughs> talked about this not on a discussion or anything, but just like you know, randomly text messaging or Facebook messaging or something. We talked about how we were both concerned that we hadn't seen holidays and patterns yet. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, there's no way they're gonna take out holidays and patterns. I mean, it's an Animal Crossing game, mm -hmm. but. Then, like, we didn't get any information, and now it's, like, a month until the game is out, and we just got the direct. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wait a minute, like, are patterns and holidays actually in this? So it was really nice to get all that stuff confirmed pretty quickly in this direct, too. It was like, yes, this is coming back. Yes, it's coming back. Yes, it's coming back. Mm -hmm. But the reason I bring this up is this is another big thing we didn't talk about, is how holidays are now linked to free updates. And so I was, yeah, this is where I was going to say this is definitely where we should go next. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I actually think this is a really good change, because at first... I was kind of concerned. I'm like, this is weird. They're going to, like, is that stuff not done yet? Is that why they're not having it in the game? Mm -hmm. But then I realized, oh, no. You know what? The game is always online. They don't want people to time travel. They're probably locking the holidays behind free updates so that people don't time travel to get all the furniture right away. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally agree that could be the reason. I think maybe 10% maybe ten of me thinks, oh, maybe they just didn't, they don't have them done yet, and they felt like that was something they could work on as time went on, because obviously yeah. Halloween is, what, uh, eight months away? Of yeah, course, of course I knew away. that offhand, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think like ten percent of me thinks maybe they just said, okay, we can we got to prioritize doing all this other stuff, sure, and the holidays sure. we can finish later. So you know, maybe maybe that's what they're doing. It does, even if that is what they're doing. Oh well, I mean, I wouldn't be seeing Halloween or Christmas time now anyway. So whatever. Yeah, why would you want to? Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't why matter. Would you to me. Time jump. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to time travel to Halloween in April. Um, right. But I think most of me does agree that yeah, they're probably they probably know where they're going with that. It's probably something they're working on. Um, but at the same time, they probably don't like the idea of people time traveling and seeing Toy Day, you know, in March right. or whatever. Right. And right, you right. Know, part of me does think it's like, well, it's your game. You bought it. You should be able to do what you want. But then I also feel like Animal Crossing is very much a communal game. And now totally. with online being just a part of our natural lives, checking social media and everything, you know damn well somebody be on Instagram or Twitter posting videos or pictures of Halloween in, yeah. in, in April. And it's like, oh, I don't want to see that yet. So... I like it, and I know this is a random thing to, to bring up, but um, I think Fortnite is kind of a cool game because they're always updating it with things that didn't exist before. Sure, sure, sure. And so this is, in a small way, that's kind of what Animal Crossing seems to be doing with the holidays. So it's like Halloween 2020 might be different than Halloween 2021. That ho totally. That's exactly where I was also going with that, too. Is that's I was cool. thinking that they might do, like, custom new sets each holiday. Yeah. As opposed to just being the Jack set. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll do a different Halloween set the next year or a different Christmas set. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I really like that idea that the developer's hands are kind of always in the game and they can yeah. bring stuff that, like, Halloween might not, and it doesn't exist. When you get that game, the information isn't going to be on the disc. Or, right. Or down. And that's kind of cool because it means they have all this extra time to focus on something like a holiday. Um, sure. Part of me does think, and this isn't like a complaint, but it's just something I think about as far as this game 10 to 15 years from now, as weird as it might seem, 15 years from now, New Horizons is going to be an old ass game, right? And of course, we're probably going to be on to the next two Animal, Animal Crossings Crossing. by then, yeah. Right, and so what I think is, it's like, okay, so what is it going to be like going back to this game in two thousand and thirty when it's Here's, Halloween? So, will it be? There? Will they just put up. it in there? Yeah, someone brought that up actually on my live stream today because they said, well, you know, what if I want to play this game 10 years from now and the servers are down and I don't have Switch Online? Mm -hmm. I think it's probably going to be a thing where, like, when the game is done, like yeah. when Wi-Fi connection is done and they have everything done, they'll probably install that as an update where then all the holiday – and also yeah. I think maybe the holidays, as they get added as free updates, maybe then stay – like yeah, the data yeah, yeah. stays in there, that you know, and be, it just never yeah. goes away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just something that I was thinking about because I think yeah. about some games. That, I mean, that's a reasonable thing to think about. Though, yeah, so. I mean, like this is 
is so friggin' random yeah. to bring up, but yeah. uh, on the Wii, there's a game called Battalion Wars 2, and it's a cute little game, and it has a big focus. The multiplayer is strictly online. You played on Nintendo right. Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi connection, yeah. And so that whole mode, which was a pretty beefy mode, there was a lot of stuff to do there, different modes in it, is just gone. Like, you can't access it anymore because Man. it was focused on the online connection. And so it's like, these days, I kind of feel like now that games are so focused on online and stuff, I wonder what the future of that kind of idea is. So, like like putting the holidays but you make a good point like once it's in there it might just be that's there. what it is totally yeah. so like totally. They, they did mention that you know in march they're going to give an update to the game so that you can play uh bunny day which would be right because i was concerned i i said the same thing you said in your reaction which when was, i watched it i was like wait a minute easter's not in march this year <laughs> yeah 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 so i was like wait are they gonna be like oh the holiday's a month-long thing or something because I, I don't know how much i love that like oh a week, i would yeah a week-long celebration i'd be down for like oh it's yeah, halloween season sure. and stuff but yeah so but then they did clarify i think right after that she's like and yeah. you, know, you play it for whatever so yeah uh, that's good it's good I and mean, the five they already confirmed were halloween christmas easter. uh easter cinco de mayo and then what was the fifth one well i think one of oh, them thanksgiving was... of course they of course how could yeah, i forget thanksgiving, thanksgiving. The thanksgiving. franklin of course I, is it cinco de mayo i don't know what is that like the real world version of it is cinco de mayo well, i always assumed it was cinco de mayo isn't it in, in uh in may it's no it's in february it's with uh pave and it yeah, is pave. Uh, it's the uh festival which it sounds Brazilian oh, to me. I, I actually think that is a real thing. I think festival is a real yeah, thing. So, that, oh my God, yeah. Pave is amazing. He just gyrates oh, the whole Pave's day. Oh, Pave is the best, dude. I love Pave. There's confetti in the air the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you, you, I, I genuinely, Roger, this is shocking to the internet, perhaps, and you as well. I have no complaints. And <gasps> Wow. That's I'm blown away. Amazing. Like, is there ever I'm when's the last away. time that that I have ever literally been like, never in the history of us ever doing a discussion <laughs> ever? I'm very satisfied and pleased. I truly, I I mean, honestly, I cannot think of one time. I'm trying to think back to every discussion we've done <laughs> where I was I just like, yeah, that was great. That's good. No complaints here. I don't think there's been one. I mean, even if yeah. I can't put patterns on the shoes, I'd be willing to get over it. Um, sure, sure. Uh, you know, but I mean, I think that that should be in there. But, you know, yeah, uh, I was it's funny. I'm looking it. at this screenshot that we were talking about with the animal, uh, like the Caesar bear sleeping. And, and oh, stuff. yeah. Uh, if you look at the one that's smelling the flowers, they actually have a popsicle in their hand. And yes. in the footage, you can see they take little bites of the popsicles. And yep. Tom, Tom Nook has coffee that he drinks out of and stuff. Uh, so that's just great. I love it. This game. Oh. Holy cow. They nailed it. They, they nailed this. They got it. There's and no I think the, the big thing too is, you know, we were all kind of bummed when they delayed it, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's clear they put the work in. I mean, yeah. it's, it's clear as day on this, which is like, then I don't mind. If something gets delayed for that long, great. Mm -hmm. You get something like this that's as fleshed out as this. Is. Wisp is in it. They showed Wisp for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they didn't show what he does, interestingly. He turns into a, it looked like he turned into a bunch of spirits. Maybe you have to collect them to bring them so back together. So I was guessing okay. that because they're bringing back the amiibo functionality, that they're going to do what they had um, with, like, the RV-specific villagers, and that Wisp turns into, like, Ganon or Wolf Link or any of the other amiibo characters that were tied to New Leaf. Because that was something I actually really, really liked. When they added those RV-specific villagers, and it was, like, Pig Ganon and Wolf Link and the characters that made sense... Pona. Like, th that's really cool to have these crossovers. You know this. I love Smash Brothers. I love crossover type event things. And so when they could do something like that that makes sense within the Animal Crossing world, I want them to do it. Mm -hmm. So I am hoping, and because Wisp is the one that activated that in the previous game, I'm hoping that maybe that's the case with this one. Yeah, it could be. When they scan the amiibo, though, do, well, I guess they just edited it. Because, like, when they scan the amiibo, they showed that you walk over to the campsite that you right. build, and that's where the animal is. I can't remember exactly how. I think Wisp turned into the animal right when he when you scanned it, and then he's like, "I thought you, he did too." Do you want this animal to come visit? And you can be like, "Yeah." Right. And he's like, "Okay." I'll you say him. yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, that could be. Um, I'm under, I'm interested to see what he does. I thought when the I thought when he ran away, he turned into like five different little glowing balls, and that would well, line he like up. evaporates really quickly. Yeah, that would I'm line up. It right now, it's at nineteen uh, ten nineteen. Let's see this again. Yeah, he evaporates, and then you see little spirits running around him, but it kind of looks. Oh no 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 no! It does look like they're running away now that I'm looking. at Yeah, this and again. that lines up with what he did in the GameCube, where you had to collect yeah. the spirits through the night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe once you collect the spirits is when he's like, hey, you want to have, you know, scan an amiibo or something. Uh, that could be, it. well, that's actually kind of nice then. Yeah. You have to work you for it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I have to ask one other big question. Okay. Huge question. Okay. Actually, two questions. One, what do you think Isabella is drinking at her desk? 
Oh, well, you know, well, you know, darn well, that's some sweet, that's some southern sweet tea up in there. That seems like sweet tea, maybe a little bit of whiskey. In there. No, that's it. She's a good girl. She that's her vacation her juice. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There is vacation juice in this. People were already referencing that. There was a, there's a render oh my of, God. I think it's Jay the Bird. He's drinking like out of this <laughs> jar and it's got like little... Little that was legitimately one of the funniest things they ever added into Animal Crossing because it's such a wholesome little game. So uh -huh. like you don't want alcohol in it, but and calling it naming. vacation juice yeah. is so cute. And of course, they're on a tropical island, so it makes sense. <laughs> um, but that's the second thing I want to ask is, Josh, are you going to be buying the Animal Crossing Switch? So when I first saw it, I was on board. I was like, yeah, I got to get this. Yeah. I got to get this. Yeah. Um, and then I hear all this stuff about how, oh, you have to pre-order it and the pre-orders are out. And so oh, pre-orders are gone. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't pre-order it. So I guess that would be no. I, I, well, to be fair, you live kind of in the middle of nowhere. I bet if you go to like your local this, Target or Walmart. He says this because he arrived to my house via like the side of the universe. He didn't no, come no, no, in in I'm the saying, normal area. My point is, no, but like <laughs> I have lived downtown. I, I grew up in, in like 30 minutes south of Chicago and then now I live – 15 minutes from downtown LA. So it's like I've I've been around big cities my whole life. That's Listen, what I'm I lived used in the to. Orlando area. But what I what I mean by that, I'm not saying this is a slight. I'm saying <laughs> this is a good thing. You can go to your local like Target or Walmart or something, and I bet you they'll probably so, get yeah, shipments of them on March. The, I was 13th. gonna I was gonna point that out to you. Yeah, actually being yeah. in a smaller city, there's less uh, people taking the pre-orders and exactly. whatnot. So it's probably exactly. easier. Um, but no, I think. See, my whole thing was I decided if I want a tropical switch with Animal Crossing, I could literally just like print out a sticker decal and put it on my my uh, switch. But that's a sticker decal. I that's know, not the same. It's, it's but the it's actual like, dock. Look at this beautiful cream colored this is, dock. This is the first and, game. This is the first Kimmy game in like. Tommy. This is the first game in like two years that I've legitimately wanted to play on the switch. Oh so when the God. switch gets another game that I want, then I'll think about buying another one. Until Even the then. Joy Con bands are so, so cute. That, like that's what Joy I'm gonna. Band. I'm gonna go after that. I'm gonna search on eBay to buy Joy the Joy Cons. Cons. Like even if I have to yeah, pay 150 yeah. bucks for Joy Cons, I'll do it. Yeah, they yeah are, you'll do it. Yeah, those are really cool. But the system itself, I feel like I ne and I never play it in handheld mode, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. even see the back of that system. You know, like with all the little decals. Yeah. So that is funny. You mentioned you're like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to buy a Switch until I know there's another game <laughs> to play on Switch that I want to play. <laughs> uh, we know Breath of the Wild 2 is coming, man. Well, We're it's, Breath it's of the funny Wild you mentioned Zelda because um, I have been saving uh, the Legend of Zelda Link, be not Link Between Worlds, uh, Link's, Link's Awakening. Awakening. You haven't Link's played Awakening. Link's Awakening yet. Because I've been you're telling everybody, Link's Awakening. I'm saving that for May 1st is when I'm going to download it. Nice. And I'm because it's such a summery game. It's on an island. I'm gonna be playing a lot of Nintendo Island games this summer. I actually I have quite a few eShop recommendations for you actually that are okay. like Wii era games, like things that I think you would really like. I feel like that should even be a video, like introducing you to the eShop, like all the things you've missed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's really funny. Um, my, I this is. I feel bad saying this, but I am annoyed by how many download codes I get in my dang email that I, mm. it's like, every, I swear, like there's a few of them every week and I, I don't care. And I guess I should, but there's been like a lot of games where like, they'll send me the code and I'll just be like, ah. well, there are some, I mean, that's actually good if you don't take them then, because if you don't really care, then it's like someone else will get them. But, um, I, there, there are like a lot of really good, especially in the past year or so, there've been some really good eShop games that I just think you'd really enjoy. There's one I'm playing right now. And the reason I bring this up because we're talking about Animal Crossing and stuff. It's called uh, Aviary Attorney. Have you heard of this? Aviary Attorney? Yes. I, I, that's quite a title. You are going to love this. It <laughs> is. I think that's the name of it. Hold on. I'm going to type it in. <clears throat> Again, it's an Animal Crossing video, so we can talk about it. Yeah, it is. Aviary Attorney. That's it. Yeah, yeah. The definitive edition. And it just came on Switch. It's like 20 bucks. And the whole thing is drawn like those really old nature books um, with like birds. It's like an 1800s type nature book that's like oh these are the type of birds and fish and you know uh chicken that exist and it's i'm telling you i don't want to say anything else about it but it's like if you mixed phoenix right with that art style and it's goofy i mean you would love this thing you would absolutely love it so i'd recommend aviary attorney okay yeah. aviary attorney okay that's uh are you so you're an attorney and you're a bird yes okay. it's like a detective attorney game and you're a bird yeah okay <laughs> But it's, I'm telling you, you'll you'll like it. <laughs> like, I'd be shocked if you didn't. Well, is there uh, any final thoughts on uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct? I'm just, I'm so ready for this. I need yeah. it. I need it now. I need it today. Way. Inject it directly into my veins, Nintendo, please. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. I'm excited. This is, uh, I'm, my goal is to try and do like three video journals a week. Oh, so nice. I'm going to be pretty busy. 
cranking out that content, man. Yeah, I'm going to do it in front of a blue screen this time. Oh, cute! In the, in the bottom right corner, a little small thing. Good. That'll be good. I'm very excited to see what I can build. Roger will be oh. coming over to visit. Why well, we didn't talk about something. What's that? Orville and Wilbur, the Dodos. We didn't <laughs> the, talk about Orville the, and Wilbur, the, you mean, the ones that would clearly talk like the, the Mad Hatter. <laughs> they, it does seem like they would talk like the Mad Hatter a little bit. But they, no, the the whole like idea of going to these other deserted islands, because at first I was confused at what that was about in the direct. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a way of like going to visit another island where you don't have to worry about like messing up your friend's town and taking their fruit. Like you go to this other deserted island or whatever, and then you take the fruit and chop down the trees and, you know, meet maybe little villagers that are wandering around it as well. And then you take that stuff back to then build out the fruit and everything else that's in your own town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I like it. So there is, um, I do feel like it needs to be something that you can't do all the time. It needs to feel like it's something sure. special that sure, you had sure. to earn. And it, it might be that way because I think you need to get a Nook ticket for it. Like you need to earn one of those little tickets, right? Yeah, yeah. You print it out. The Nook miles. Yeah, yeah, so with the Nook miles, you use it. So may, I, I hope it's an issue. I hope it's like a situation where you have to decide how to spend your Nook miles. And you might be like, well, I'm saving up my Nook miles for this. So maybe I won't do that. Or you know what I mean? Like like to make it to where it's not like. Yeah. The, the, so the, the tropical island in New Leaf, I thought was really cool, but it was too easy to go to. It was very cheap. You could do it whenever you wanted. I think sure. It was like 2,000 bells to go. Um, so it was just something you could do nonstop. And you could just get all and those And you would come back with like a haul of 80,000, yeah, 90,000 yeah, yeah, bells yeah. worth of, yeah, totally. Yeah, that, I think Arlo had mentioned that it like it completely destroyed the game's economy. Yeah, like it was it so, yeah. So I hope there's nothing like that in this game. Um, but I feel like they're smart. Clearly, everything we've seen here, this is a very yeah. smart team, and I'm sure they looked over that. And, uh, you know, this is the first Animal Crossing game where if there is something that the community really doesn't like and feels breaks they the game, it. they can update it and fix yeah. it. Like, you know, those yeah. Animal Track days were nightmarish because they couldn't really update the Wii game. Sure. Uh, you know, so with this, it's nice to know that if there is something that people are like, oh, it's too easy to get money and it's kind of ruining the game, they could definitely go in and fix something like that. Ah, uh, the dark days of City Folk. May we never see that game again. Hey, I, I was cool with City Folk, but those animal tracks. City Folk was fine. Yeah. Uh, I actually just hacked my game to fix the grass like every week, <laughs> the homebrew channel. But... Well, I, I think we're never going to hit Amiibo Festival level ever again. I feel like that, that is, was the low point the low of the point. series. There's that's definitely the low go. point of the series. Nowhere to go but yeah. up from there. <laughs> nowhere to go but up. But it's funny because, like I said, this literally seems to be like the best game in the series. Based on if, if everything actually turns out the way that it looks in these trailers, like it's going to be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And and to go along with what you were saying too, like where you have to earn the trips to those deserted islands with the Nook Miles, mm -hmm. I think that's actually kind of something they're getting from Pocket Camp. Because so much of Pocket Camp is like you do your daily routines and it's like, all right, what do I actually want to save my stuff for? Like, do I want this specific furniture item? Do I want to use it to like do these extra little tasks? And so I feel that's actually something good that's coming from the mobile game. Yeah, so you play Pocket Camp. Uh, I mean, I don't play it regularly because I play too many other mobile games. Like, I play uh, One Piece Treasure Cruise, Dragalia Lost, and Fire Emblem literally every day. And so I okay. played Pocket Camp every day for a little bit. And then I just kind of dropped it after about, like, six months. But then I saw they had this huge update to Pocket Camp. Uh, and I gave it a go. And then, like, I forgot why I dropped it. It was just there was – it wasn't that I didn't like it. Like, I liked the improvements that they made. But I couldn't tell you what the improvements were off the top of my head. Uh -huh. Like, they didn't really stick with me. And um, there were just too many other games coming out at the time for me to play. But I think I might – jump back into it for like this next month just because they have those exclusive items that you could transfer in mm -hmm. so part of me feels like maybe i should give pocket camp another go um in the lead up to new horizons just so maybe do like a road to new horizons video or something and like yeah. treat myself playing pocket camp it might be kind of fun i wonder how you change your hair in this game like is harriet gonna have the shampoodle salon do you build that or how do you change it can you just change that's a good question we didn't see that i think you can earn new hairstyles i could have sworn when i was watching this there's something like i learned a new hairstyle or i got a diy recipe for maybe you style. change it at the able sisters where you see that one screen where yeah, like maybe. it's all the different yeah, it or could maybe be there. the Able Sisters adds on and it's there because I think in New Leaf she was above the Able Sisters, and uh, so yeah, 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 we'll see. Um, I love the, the one item I definitely need from the um, like list of stuff that's exclusive from Pocket Camp is I need the OK Motors slot machine that looks so funny like I with uh, don't even i don't even know what that is okay jump to 2642 and you'll see like all the special pocket camp items they have the little fortune cookie stand which makes sense because the fortune cookies are like little special things from that uh you can see the little rvs next to it like little rv models there's a sign of the campground and then there's like the little okay motors um like slot machine 
We see the little button that you press, and then it's like Tom Nook, oh. Isabel, and uh, and Reese. So wait, is this, so is this like you have to play Pocket Camp to get these items and right, bring them into right, New Rhett? Oh, right. Well, because like OK Motors and the Fortune Cookies and stuff, that all is tied to um, Pocket Camp. I guess I have to try Pocket Camp a bit more to get some. Have you not stuff. played it at all? I played a little bit, and I was like, yeah, no, no, thank you. Yeah, no. The very, I mean, it was rough. The first like month or two, or honestly, the first year really was pretty rough of Pocket Camp, um, which is unfortunate that that's when I played the most. Um, <laughs> But they have really improved it since then. They, they've added a lot of new features to it to sort of streamline it. So, okay, okay, yeah. Um, one of the things I was going to mention though is like in regards to the hairstyle. I remember in past games, it was always so like cryptic about what you were going to get. They're like, hmm, what, what are you thinking about the hair color? Something warm, something neutral, something cold. It's like, just give me light brown hair. I, I don't want right. to play these quizzes. You right, know, when, right, right. When you go into the when you go to get your hair cut or whatever, they don't like give you Professor Layton riddles to solve so that your hair looks no. the way, way you want it. So I, I think like in... Professor Layton, but keep Professor Layton out of Animal Crossing, man. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Like it's so weird. Oh, no, totally. Yeah, yeah. They're like, it's oh. very weird. And they're like, are you? Do you want something sporty or edgy? And I'm like, I don't even know what the difference between that is. So I'd always just go online and look at a guide. Same. Anyway. I'd look at little guides yeah. to find out what my hair is. So it's yeah. like just let the just let us pick in the game. I mean, yeah, I, I appreciate yeah. the cuteness, but it just didn't work that well. So I think yeah. in New Horizons, you do just like say this is the color i want this is the style yeah so that's how it is with the furniture too i mean you can make the furniture any color you want like red black green whatever you just can change up the furniture color on the fly if you have the right items for it and the pillows i mean everything you could truly customize these furniture sets to be whatever you want and that's something we kind of skimmed through when we were talking about it earlier but they showed those little clips of like the returning furniture sets and like with the inside of houses dude the zen set looks incredible now i think it's oh, it's the exotic set mm-hmm did you see that little portion where like she's sitting in the exotic room with the table with the feast on it? I mean, it just, it looks unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it does. I just went back in the video and I noticed on one of these screens, uh, it, it says there's, these are like various things that you can get. And one of them, there's three of them that say top eight hairstyles. And it's like top eight pop hairstyles, top eight cool hairstyles. And they're like 2,400 uh, nook miles. Oh, all right. So well, there you I guess go. That's a, so what would that be? That would be like 24, right? Is that 24 yeah. right there? So yeah. So maybe yeah. there's more than that. I don't know. But that's at least 24 hairstyles. I think that's nice. probably more or as much as New Leaf. Um, so yeah, I guess that's how you do it. It's stuff that you earn through the nook mileage program. Okay. I just noticed this peacock villager. She's cool. Oh, yeah. Wait, she's a flamingo, right? Well, I think she's technically a flamingo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know which one you're talking she's about. She's a peacock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She is cool. Uh -huh. Oh, she's awesome. <laughs> I like her. Just like looking through all of this stuff again, I'm just, just that little portion where they show clips of um, some of the furniture sets or like the girl's birthday. It just, it looks incredible. This oh. cotton candy machine. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's amazing. Oh, there's I... a cotton candy machine. There's like citrus water that you can get. Oh. On yeah, like a diner in. bar, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's so many, and and it's so cool because like I think clearly you're gonna craft that by using fruit and some other items. Of course, of course. So that's of so course. neat. Um, I was gonna also like one of the final things to point out here because holy cow, we're at an hour. <laughs> I think people well, probably want. Good. Us to, I mean, it's, they probably want, want us to talk. This. Um, yeah, for sure. It's so I, I love that you can take pictures and you can move the lens around. Like you can go down yes. closer to the ground. You can zoom yes. in and out. And, that I love that kind of thing. I mean, my Switch has genuinely thousands of screenshots on it <laughs> that I just take all the time. Well, as um, content creators, it's great to have for thumbnails because then you can just cross there the you go. thumbnail yes. and use it for your video. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's just neat. Because that's another thing, like I always felt, and I think I've seen a lot of people talk about this in the past, how we wanted to see some more dynamic camera angles in Animal Crossing. Yeah. Like, what would yeah. it be like to see my town from like the ground looking upwards or whatever? And now with like the camera, you can kind of do that sort of thing. Um, so, man, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Man. Yeah, me too. Oh, God. I just, I'm paused at 2224 looking at this exotic set again. Like, the exotic shelves where she put, like, the plate on the shelf and then the little flower. And, like, even the table where it has this huge feast on it. And you can see in the back the cherry blossom plant and it, the little, um, <laughs> the zen pond with, like, the frog on top. It's just, the level of detail has has just been upped by such an incredible amount in this game and I I can't wait. Yeah, I mean and one like of the how you can hang all your stuff on your walls now. You can just fill your wall with posters and stuff. Uh -huh. Oh man. One of the things that I'm definitely noticing that I appreciate a lot is all this stuff has various types of mapping on it and different shaders. Yes. So you have like some normal mapping, you have spec mapping. 
uh, which just really makes things pop out more and seem more official and legit. Even like the exotic chair. I don't know if yeah, you're noticing this. Yeah, that's what this. I'm looking at now. Yeah. Dude, like the way that the, the cushion is lifted mm, and it's got, got spec, the... That's got a spec oh, on it. Oh, so good. Yeah, it's really good. This game looks beautiful. I love it. It's pretty good. So I think uh, that's pretty much everything. I mean, it's going to be a lot of Animal Crossing coverage here at the Biplock. I am so tonight I'm going to be staying up. I'm going to be uh, working on a 101 facts about Animal Ooh. Crossing New Horizons. Uh, so that'll be really fun. And uh, I think we went over 56 of them during this discussion. <laughs> Just we clip went... out each of the things in this discussion. <laughs> oh, look at the cushion on this exotic chair. Did you notice this mapping? <laughs> oh, there's a cotton candy machine. That's cool. Yeah, see, look at this little that. water thing that you used. You put citrus stuff in there to make the water and you probably craft that with fruit. How cute. <laughs> uh, I'm making your video for you. This weekend, I'm going to make a real life version of Tom Nook's tropical uh, button up shirt. I'm going to wear that for all the journals. <laughs> a little, little emblem. Patch and everything. You're extra, man. You go above and beyond the Call of Duty for this stuff. Uh, so, Roger, thank you so much for talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons with me. It's always a pleasure. Of course. You know, always. You know, like I said, in about a week or so, we got to get together and do a discussion about Super Super Nintendo World. Uh, yeah, it's weird. Be... Like I said, we haven't done discussions in, like, months. There hasn't been a lot of stuff that, like, I like that also you like. But mm -hmm. now it's, like, there's a surplus of it. It's like, oh, Animal Crossing and Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo World, all this stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if in about a month or so we'll get a, a normal standard direct. Obviously, the Switch does not have a very busy year so far this year. And. And, uh, well, so okay. Well, maybe we should save this for a different discussion. Because I was going to say, we'll save it for a different discussion. We should probably do a direct prediction thing okay. right before that direct comes out. Okay. You sound like you know something, but I'm going to assume you're... I don't. I, I don't know anything. I'm not being coy. But I, I have a feeling you're probably going to like this direct. Okay. Pikmin 4. Let's do it. No, I don't know. Pikmin I mean, 4. Roger's being... base announced Pikmin 4. Oh, yes! my God. Could you imagine? Oh. <laughs> All right, Roger, so that's going to be doing it. Uh, we'll be playing Animal Crossing very soon, and we'll be having a lot of fun. You'll be jumping into my video journals from time to time and whatnot. I'll Can't check wait. out your check out your island and stuff. But Vice versa. I mean, you know, they, they've, they've done the impossible. They've pleased JT, which was <laughs> not something anyone thought could ever happen again. But this is fantastic. Yeah. Good job, Nintendo. Yeah. All right. Woo! Thanks. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll be back with another video real soon. Thanks.